You asking me these questions like I don't talking like you don't know me at all. No, they don't know you at all. I know you. Welcome back to my channel. Put your phone down, please. Sit up, please. In action. Hey, loves. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mahogany, and we're back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing our first, like, mukbang, mukbang, whatever you call it. So, this is my little brother, Tupac. Tupac Beck. Tupac is his real name. He... Is a Tupac. Oh, y'all. He's a Tupac. He 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 acts so bougie. He acts so unbothered. He's really not shy, but he try to show the try to portray to the world that he's shy and quiet. Who child? Who child? Only his siblings really know how he acts. He is the baby of the family, and he acted. He's spoiled. But anyway, so we got our food today from A-Town Wings. I'm in my hometown. I had to come to my hometown like on some spare of the moment type thing. So they got a new restaurant, even though it's a lot of chains of it in the Atlanta area. It's called A-Town Wings. And that, I know the wings, they're real, real good. So we decided to do our wings. I wanted to do seafood. Every time I come home, I like to do seafood. But he is on this kick. So he's scared. Of, he's like... <laughs> Cause <laughs> he's scared to do it, you know. He's like, uh uh. Talking about, you know, crab. They say crab come from the crabs. But, uh uh, now. Y'all know we love our crab legs. We ain't playing with that. But anyway, so we at my grandma's house. So you gonna see all these roosters. Don't come for my grandma roosters now. Because she loves her roosters. She got them all over. So we're gonna just have. So conversation, I got some questions for, but we may go off of it. I may just start asking him all kinds of questions. He doesn't really like questions, but it's my channel. So, yeah. so I got honey mustard wings. What kind of wings you got to bro? Lemon pepper. What kind? <laughs> he got lemon pepper wings. You like dry wings? I told y'all we gotta get the sauce. Oh. Um. Cause he was too busy on the phone when we were ordering our food. Now his food didn't come out right like he liked it. But anyways, so I love honey mustard. I even, I get honey mustard wings and I get the dipping sauce. But American Deli is my favorite place to get my, um, my wings. So introduce yourself formally. Y'all already know my name. You might have to talk a little bit louder though. I'm 20 and I go to Albany State. I play football. Okay. What position you play? Running back. Okay. Okay. So, have you always ran running back? Like, how you knew you wanted to play football? I mean, Dominique. Who is Dominique? The people don't know. Who That's Dominique our is. older brother. Yeah, we got an older brother named Dominique. Yeah, he played running back. I just want to play running back. Okay. Okay, okay. So, Tupac, so now you go to Albany State, but where did you go before that? Because I do know that you transferred schools. You can stop it real quick. Stop it. You asking me these questions like. I can cut it out. It's the interview. You talking like you don't know me at all. No, they don't know you at all. I know you, but I'm gonna have people all over the world look at it. They not, they don't know you. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, Tupac, where did you go before Albany State? Because I know that you transferred schools. You transferred colleges. I went to Shorter University in Rome, Georgia. Like 45 minutes from Kennesaw. Okay. And from my understanding, that's a Christian school, right? Private Christian school. A private Christian school. And now you go to HB to a HBCU, Albany State. I went to Albany State too, so that's my alma mater. Ooh. So I'm an alumna of Albany State. 
So how is it transitioning from a Christian school, a private Christian school, to an HBCU? Because that's so different. Yeah, Albany is the ghetto. Albany is ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean ghetto? Don't come from my school, but what you mean? <laughs> if you know what ghetto is, you know <laughs> ghetto is ghetto. But Albany, like, the dorms and stuff I mean, is they, nice. Yeah, the dorms nice. But what? Like, the whole aesthetic of it, like... It's really just like a big high school. Yeah. Really. So, how do you like... Like, which one do you like better so far? I like Albany better. You got Albany better? Yeah. He say it's ghetto, but he low-key like the ghetto. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> you like Albany better. You like the team, you like the coaches, you like the classes. Yeah. You like the lifestyle. Class is the classes okay? They ain't really better than. Oh really? Do you feel like you learning anything? No. You just learning how to get by in it. Yeah. That's really all college That's is, y'all. You get by. You learning how to get by. You learning how to finish something. That's it. That's all it is. So what are you going to school for? Supply chain and logistics. So do you know yet what you want to do with that? Be like a warehouse manager or like work on the ports. Okay. Working on the like the numbers side and how much product can fit on those. Yeah, trucks. like how much product and stuff can fit. Okay. Is that something that you're really interested in or... Yeah, I mean, I don't work with trans transport stuff. You have. So what kind of transport work have you done before? We did boats. Who is we? Me and my brother, Dominique. All right, so our older brother. Our older brother. So what does our older brother do? He had a trucking business. Well, a transport business. It's called Pro Hook, right? Pro Hook Transport. We used to do boats, golf carts, cars. What else we get? Enclosed trailers. Okay. So, did you like like what? What did you do? Did you actually drive some? I drove. I had to. Load the stuff, scrap stuff down, do some paperwork. Okay. So did you like it? Yeah. Or did it come to you easy? Yeah, it was easy. It's just the driving part. Gotta stay woke. Oh, yeah, you gotta stay woke. When you're sleepy, ain't it? Because you be having to drive all the way to Michigan. That's crazy. Far. And driving. Yeah. But they say you make a lot of money in trucking, though. It depends. Not Only kind of contracts you get. Yeah. And who you working for? Okay. 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 So that's your school and future career life. So what else do you like to do? Like, what else are your interests? I'm just a chill person. I don't really in the mix. Okay. Which is funny that he don't like to be in the mix, but he's very social. Like, he got a lot of friends, y'all. For somebody to be a loner, he got a lot of friends. They ain't friends. Some are friends. You just don't know. <laughs> That's all it be, Pop. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I do want to ask you this. So, how was it growing up with the name Tupac? Because Tupac, like, that's a huge, that's a huge thing to, a name to live up to. Because, you know, all this, all this talk about who Tupac was and just the image of Tupac. People that don't even know him. Like, we right. so young. Because you were born in 99. You 20. You were born in 99. So, Tupac had already passed away. By the time you was even born, so just to live up to something that you don't even know, you wasn't even in the mix or thought about. 
when this person was alive, making their mark on the world. So how is it living, you know, having to grow up with that name? When you was little in school. Teachers gonna call you Tupac. <laughs> I just get mad when black teachers call me that. <laughs> like, now you know now you don't know. They just make me mad. My college professor do that now. Be calling you Tupac. Yeah. A black one. Like, now everybody at Albany State know who Tupac girl, is. Girl, you know Tupac. <laughs> you get out there. You get out there. <laughs> so you did you ever feel the pressure to have to live up to that, or you just like you just did your mm -hmm. own thing? Yeah, that's good. And I like that you like that. Like you really be on your own way. You're not a follower, you know. But so that's cool. What else do you like? Cause I know you always like look at you now. You always be looking. So you know I like. Your boy. The people don't know Pop. The people don't know you. But your boy be out here really with the with the drip. So tell the people like what what when you get dressed. Stand up. Let's show them real quick your outfit real quick. Oh. We gonna show y'all a little bit. <laughs> we gotta step over here a little bit more. So this 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 yes. my boy. Yes. This my boy basic drip. Basic. Yeah, look at the camera. Look at you know. Basic buffet. What's this? This like what? Little thirty seconds throw on. Yeah. Little, like drip. You can go out and like little You can do whatever in this, really. Yeah. So you like to find stuff like that, which when you looking for your outfits and stuff, you like to just find pieces that you can wear, whatever. Okay, okay. I just buy clothes throughout the year and don't wear them unless Why? I go somewhere. You just always want, to, always want to have it in the stash. Yeah, I got clothes. So where did you get that from? And my dad. Yeah, yeah. Spike now. Y'all <laughs> start talking to my daddy. <laughs> my daddy the original stepper that we know. We ain't know nothing about none of that before. My daddy the original. Anyway, my dad, he always bought so many clothes, clothes shoes, shoes y'all. Hats. Like over, over a hundred or something shoes and like clothes. We ain't even gonna start with the clothes. He got enough clothes to fill up a thrift store, the whole thrift store. He really need to sell some of that stuff, really. But anyways, so that's where you get your sense of, you know, style and, and your interest in it. Yeah, you gotta have clothes. You got to have shoes. The shoes can't be dirty. My daddy, my daddy worked shoes. He don't even like his work shoes to be dirty. And he did construction with us growing up. He like none of his clothes to be dirty. Like he's gonna iron his clothes. He's gonna morning. iron his work clothes. Hat gotta match. His Hat clothes. got to match his work clothes. Like everything that need to be socks. There's some drawers. He's gonna rip them up. Draw. You see a hole or something in underwear. You know when you wash them so many times, and it become he rip them up like t-shirts. He always wear a little t-shirt underneath his shirt. <laughs> he don't play that, y'all. <laughs> so that's where you get your sense of style from and just the interest in that. What else do you like to do? I know you love music. Like, you always got the playlist going. 90s. 90s, yeah. He, you love that old school. He is born in 99, <laughs> y'all. And this man be listening to 90s, 80s music, too. Like, so where you get that from? My daddy. <laughs> and my daddy a Leo. So y'all know Leos, wherever they go, they influencing something. So he love old music and stuff. So that's where you get that from. Who is your all-time favorite artist? Like, who can you turn on and listen to their whole catalog the whole day? First is going to be Lucci. Lucci? You like Lucci? Yeah. Now, Lucci, Lucci project. He's gonna be dropping that, but he don't be dropping no more. What you think going on with that? Mm, he, 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 need up. he need to yeah. tighten up because really people forgetting about him. I ain't gonna say they forgetting about him, but we gotta go listen to all that old yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. Okay, okay. So Lucci, okay. Who who's number two? Rawway, that'd be Rawway. You love this man, loves me to ride with. 
Why you always talking about Rod Wave? Got to throw him in now. What's your favorite Lucci song? <clears throat> Who I do it for? Who I do it for? Who? I What's your favorite Rod Wave song? For right now, it's probably Dark Cloud. Dark clouds. You know what? I never listened. But we been to him. on Lucha and they like Rod Wave. I never listened to him. I never heard a song. Been tough. He tough. I'm missing out on something. I never oh, heard. You probably, probably won't like. It. I probably won't like it. The flow. The vibe of like. What he be talking about? He sound like he be crying a lot in the music. No, he sound like he be crying. But I'm like, I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna see what he talking about. I don't mind giving people a chance. What are your, um, on this video, like, well, on my channel, I like to talk about motivation. I like to talk about values. I like to talk about just your overall aesthetic, like your outlook on life. So with that being said, what are three values that you live by? Like what's three codes that you live by in your life? Like, ain't no, you, that's your principle. You standing on three top things. You not wavering. You ain't let nobody push you over. Okay. Take care of your family. And just stay out the way. Stay out the mix. Don't make yeah. all them noise. Do what you need I to do and get it. back home. Go on, go on. Okay, mom. Hey, look. <laughs> Corny stuff you done seen that you just like. Throwing salt on a nigga like. Really? <laughs> Trying to make come somebody else shot. Yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, when they be pillow talking with them girls. Yeah, I, so, what's the craziest thing you done heard about yourself? Like somebody done threw some salt on you. What's the craziest thing you done heard? You just like, boy, you know that ain't even true. What? <laughs> it's something I don't even know. I'm about to say it's, it's probably so much. No, it's like, <laughs> I don't even know her. <laughs> Oh, they done said that you done messed with yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before. What's the craziest thing you done seen in your DMs? Because you really be popping. Nah. You really? Nah. What's the craziest thing somebody done sent you? I don't want to talk about that. Eh? Somebody must have sent some boobies. <laughs> Probably the lips, like Boosie said. <laughs> Put your lips on live, I'll give you a thousand dollars. They gave Boosie a show. I'm watching that show. You, man, listen. Mm, you listen to watch a DVD all the time. <laughs> if you see a 50 in him, <laughs> if you find a 50 in him, check this out. Nigga. Do this pocket change in me. Flick them to they stop, so hold the count. If you find a 50 in him, if you find a 50 in this. Come, Rambo, Hollywood. Boosie does, bro. Boosie is a fool. I I like Boosie though. Yeah. That ain't he funny, and he stand on what he say. Yeah. He's standing on it. He's crazy. Love Boosie funny. So, what is another sport that you would play that nobody would probably ever guess that you was like interested in to play? If it wasn't football, what is another sport you would probably play? Nothing. Um, I see you playing lacrosse. Oh, yeah. I, think I guess the horse. It's too cold, though. It's too cold. I don't want my feet being cold. It's probably like football with a stick, though. With a stick. Well, I see you doing lacrosse, rowing the boat. Yeah, I don't like water. You don't like water? Well, you don't like heights either, do you? I ain't, really, I ain't scared of it, but I ain't. If you can visit any country, <laughs> Where would you be? Dubai. You go to Dubai? Yeah. With the vibes. <laughs> and man, he be laughing at all my little corny jokes and he stay calling me corny. Fog, what's your funniest memory with you and I? If you have one, do you have one? It's so much stuff like, 
Our whole family just like the did so much. I don't know. My our whole, whole family is really I'm funny. We got another brother, Chavez. <laughs> he a comedian <laughs> of the family. Like so busy, bro. this man so funny. It's it's six of us. It's six of us all together. It's two girls, four boys. So growing up in our household, man, we got another brother. We <laughs> now this the one be on his own way. <laughs> I can get my other siblings on here. I'm definitely gonna try. Thank you so much, Tupac. We gonna wrap it up. I'm full. I can't eat no more. Thank you so much, Pop, for coming onto my channel and allowing me to interview you, even though you hate the camera and you hate all these questions. Thank you for coming. Is there anything you want to tell the people before we get off? No. He's so anti, so anti, but so friendly at the same time. But anyway, thank, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join the tribe. And if it's any kind of different content or any kind of videos that y'all want to see next, please drop down in the comment box and let me know what else y'all want to see. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time. Don't forget that you're beautiful. Alright. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Dang it on your nerve. <laughs>